Hey there, I'm Erica. And I'm Tina. And we are Mary Mary. Listen, make sure you watch season three of Mary Mary on WeTV at 9 p.m. You really don't want to miss it. By the way, you're watching Boss Up. Girl, I don't let me never tell you feel something. no pressure. One thing about the Marys, the, the Marys are Mary and Mary. <laughs> we are absolutely positively us. Mm -hmm. Like uh, we and don't, comfortable I don't, in our we own don't skin. feel pressured yeah. or compelled to do like anybody else. Like we didn't get here trying to be like any particular right. group or any kind of star or chase any genre or trend. Or we, we're not that. So I, we don't feel pressure to become anything for our reality show or to give them more. We're executive producers on our reality show, and before we finalize contract, we made sure we held that position because we want to make sure that we are giving our life the way it is, mm -hmm. not trumped up, not fixed, nothing more, nothing the less. The good thing about it, and we made sure that this was a part of negotiation, is that we said if we give you the bad stuff, then don't edit out the good stuff. Don't edit out when I apologize, don't edit out when I say I love Jesus, and make sure you include it all. And so, you know, third season just happened to be a time when life just went to hell in a handbasket. We had no idea that that was gonna happen. Even when we started filming, we did not know that it was gonna go that way. But because we are committed to the truth, um, committed to being honest. You know, I'm, I, I believe what I believe when the cameras are on and when they're off. Yeah. So I felt like if they saw me at, in my worst light, it still would include a little bit of the light, his light. Mm -hmm. Well, I am the one that decide, decided to expose that I was struggling with infidelity. My my husband, you know, de I dealt with infidelity in my relationship. So first of all, I was in control of the matter. I gave it to the media. I gave it to the outlet that I wanted to tell the story first, and I chose to put it on the show. It was nothing that I had to do. What I did not know was all that the process of trying to forgive and trying to get through this and, you know, not be that immediate thing that you feel not be that for the rest of my life. I didn't know what that process entailed. Mm -hmm. And I didn't consider yeah. all of that before saying, I'm gonna let the reality show just, you know, show what's going on right now. Um, um, in the middle of it, I thought, why did I do this? This is too hard and everybody sees me falling apart. Um, but prior to doing it, I thought if I can try to heal and with God's help, maybe somebody else can watch it and possibly mm -hmm. heal. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And, and maybe my faith can encourage somebody. So that was my mind going into it. And now I'm not mad that I made that decision. In the process of it, I was like, what did I do? But now mm -hmm. that I'm smiling again, you know, I'm not mad that I did it because if, if we don't see that people make it through stuff, sometimes we, we don't know that we that can. We can. Yeah. yeah. I'm still surprised, even right now. Um, I know that everybody is not comfortable with curves, and you know, I didn't give them to myself, God did. So you have to take it up with him. Um, I, I had recently lost a little weight, you know, I have three kids, and high blood pressure and battling being healthy. I'm, you know, growing older, so I'm more comfortable in my own skin, and I know that it can rub some people the wrong way. Um, I know people want their uh, their view of what Christianity is to resemble their grandmother. Grandmama's hair, grandmama's dress, that's what save is. Anything what else, is this? you know, what is this? that's what they want. Grandmama got her hands up. <laughs> and it's, you know, <laughs> they, they just, I wish they would understand that Christians now live in 2014 and as everybody else has progressed, so have we. Yeah. We're not mm -hmm. locked in the closet. We don't close our eyes when things come on television. We are okay with the world being what it is. I don't expect non-Christians to act like Christians. Um, but I do, however, expect, uh, fellow Christians to have a little more understanding and be a little nicer, but hey, they talked about Jesus. Why should I be that shocked? For me, <sighs> the, the greatest lesson that my daddy taught me was to be a fighter. My yeah. daddy taught me to be a fighter. Um, my, daddy was no, my daddy was no punk. He was strong physically, very frightening looking. Mm -hmm. He walked into the <laughs> building, ain't nobody gonna have a problem with his daughters because the muscles is gonna make you back up a little bit. Um, I was able to do a song for him called Eddie that's on my record. And I was so proud to play it for my sisters and my family, of course. We all cried through the whole song, but uh, it, it, it is an homage to him. And, and um, he taught us a lot. He taught us to be strong. He taught us to love God. He taught us to love each other. But go ahead, Dina. I, I, I don't really watch TV, if I can just be <laughs> honest with you. So I don't, I don't really know about none of the other shows that are out there. I, I hear about all of the other gospel shows and stuff, but I don't watch it. I know my show because I gotta, I gotta give my editing <laughs> opinions. Um, but I don't, I'm not a TV watcher, so I don't really watch up. I, I'm, I'm very grateful that I think after Run, you know, Reverend Run, I think mm -hmm. we were the next gospel artist that did a reality show. I do watch um, 
quite a few of the other shows. And um, everybody has their own life. I can't make a judgment call. Mm -hmm. And the world that we live in now, that's, that's the way. Tell me what you think. You don't have to be an authority. You don't have to have gone to school for it. You don't even have to do what I do. But for some reason, you can blast your p opinion, Mr. Whosoever Jones from wherever, California, or Whosoever wherever Jones. in the world. That was fantastic. You can blast your opinion, and we care about what you think. And that's what we do. We take this one person, and this represents everybody. That's called stereotyping. You know, in the past, we don't call it that anymore. We call it labeling, and it's, it's kind of unfortunate. Everybody has their own life. And I don't think that the the moments that you watch on those shows make up the sum of their life. There's still so much more to those people. You don't know if after they played the bad part of the clip that you saw over and over and over and over, if they got it right. They don't advertise that part. I, I wish it was the sucky part and they ask you about it over and over and over and over. But there's some really great people who, who are in those shows. Some of who are friends of mine who I've worked with.